Happy Friday, everyone. Welcome back to Chats with Chase. Here's today's tip. If you've been running simulations not only to get stress values, but also to see how parts will deform, then you may want to be able to use a deformed version of your part in other places to check for possible fit issues or conflicts. There's a great tool for this that allows you to create either a new part or a new configuration from your deformed part in simulation. In this example, we have a hook. It's actually the one that Brandon tests out in one of our other videos from today. I have this simulation set up where the hook is fixed at the hole, and there's a force applied on this face at the bottom of the curve. I want to be able to use this deformed version somewhere else, which is simple enough to do. I'll just right click on the results folder and create a body from deformed shape. In this case, I just want it as a different configuration, but I could also create it as a whole new part if I wanted. There are also some advanced options down here that may help if the part is really deformed and you run into issues with it working as just a SOLIDWORKS body. Sometimes the surfaces deform too much and there are issues recreating the geometry as a solid, so it may need to be done as a surface and finished later. However, just the SOLIDWORKS body is fine for us in this case. So I'll click OK and let the program finish it. Once that's done, we have this configuration made that matches the deformed version from simulation. It's also worth noting that if this was done with a deformed assembly, it would save out as a multi-body part. Thanks for watching. Contact me if you have any questions, and have a nice weekend.